routine that I've, I talked about at the end of the last video. So I've pretty much been doing that every single morning. I'm getting up like an, so I got up at seven, it's 8.40 now, so I've been getting up like an hour and a half early before like I would get up and eat my meal. Just cause, just kinda get the day moving a little bit earlier, I guess. Get my, um, that green juice that I, I drink, get that down, just stretch, roll out. It's been making my legs feel a lot better. Um, and yeah, and then I get my work done on my computer and just anything that I have to do, just get a, a jump start on the day. And it's been feeling good, so I've been doing that for the past week and I've really been liking it. Um, you know what I got, the typical breakfast. The eggs, oatmeal, and I just got a couple pickles just because I like pickles. But today's Thursday, so we've been doing a push pull leg this week. So um, today's like kind of like the rest day, but we're probably gonna end up doing cardio. So it's gonna be a fun day of cardio. The weather's not too nice out. Um, of course, I don't know. I'm telling you, the Jersey weather's been ridiculous. But it's um, I think it's supposed to be like 55, 60. So not too cold, but it's cloudy, so it's not gonna feel as warm. But we got cardio later, so I'm meeting up with Chris. Probably around like 11-ish, 11 11 o'clock, I'll go to his house. But yeah, that's my morning routine. So I highly, 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 highly suggest that whatever time you usually get up, get up like an hour earlier and just get a, get a head start on the day. Just just, just to, I'm telling you, just to get in your routine and just to, honestly, just to get ahead. Trust me, if you haven't tried it, tried it. I'm gonna enjoy this. I'm gonna put my mustard and my hot sauce on my eggs because it's delicious and I'll catch up with you guys. So at Chris's house and I'm finally gonna answer the question that I probably, top three most asked questions that I get which is like counting your calories or like how to set up your calories and macros and everything. First off, I wanna start, well first let me say we're in the car because the lighting's better in here than it was inside and it's also less quiet. But uh, second is um, I, if you've been following me, um, I kind of said it before that I don't really count my, my macros specifically. I do count my calories though, but I do just try to hit protein. So for me personally, I like hitting like pretty much one gram of protein um, per body weight. So for me, that's like 160 to 170. So as long as I hit that, for me, the carbs and, and um, fat, wherever they land doesn't really matter for me. It typically usually is a higher carb um, diet and a lower fat diet, but nonetheless, um, I'm gonna answer the question for everyone else that this could benefit, especially with summer coming around. A lot of you guys wanna lose weight and everything. So I'm gonna use Chris as an example. He's behind the camera. So Chris, um, he said he weighs 170 pounds, right? So that's Chris's 170 pounds. So the first thing you wanna start off with is um, I'm gonna do an activity level. So as you can see, I have a uh, like a scale setup kind of thing and let me first start off by saying that too that this there's plenty of ways you could start you could count uh, your macros and calories and everything this is just what I do this is what I found and, and I've researched and this is the easiest way personally for me so anyways so activity level so you have a scale right here 14 to 16 right so um, depending on and your activity level is everything you do during the day whether it's working out cardio your job schoolwork um, your hobbies anything like that so the activity throughout the day, uh, all the calories are gonna be burning on a daily basis. So 14 to 16, 14 is gonna be the lower end, that you're not active, you're kind of sitting down a lot. 16 is gonna be higher end, you have a job that you move around a lot and everything. So how active would you say you are, Chris? I would say in the middle of 15 right now because I don't really have a job right now. Yeah, so well, really, especially uh, with quarantine now. Yeah. Like I said, um, I'm sure a lot of people might be at the 14 um, range, but I would actually probably put you even closer to 14. Cause we, okay. even though we work out like even me personally like yeah, i work out a lot yeah i work out a lot we work out a lot like five six actually seven days a week um but the other times when we're not working out it's kind of like computer work or school yeah. work or editing videos kind of stuff like this so we'll put them to the 14 um 14 range so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the 170 right there. so it's gonna be 170 and it's gonna be times 14 right 170 times 14 equals it's gonna give us a uh, number 2380 so I put 2380 and that's calories right so depending on what you want to do if you're trying to lose weight gain bulk maintain or whatever you can subtract or add from that me personally I suggest not going too aggressive um, so you want to lose weight for this purpose we're gonna say okay. you want to lose, we'll lose weight, weight. See, a lot of people want to lose weight so um I suggest going maybe a 300 calorie deficit. Um, so we'll start off there. So 2,380 uh, minus 300. I'm bad at math. Oh, 2,080, right? Yes. <laughs> 2,080. So um, that's going to be his calories, right? So this right here would be kind of his maintenance calories if you want to maintain. But since he wants to lose weight, we're going to go 2,080. Um, like I said, not too aggressive because you don't want to do it too fast because if you lose body fat too fast, 
Um, if you're losing weight too fast, um, a lot of it could be muscle. Some of it could be muscle too. So we want to, you know, we we want to prevent that. And then you could always change this as a go. But anyway, so now we have his calories, right? This is the calories he wants to hit for the day, 2000, 2080. So now we're gonna find out his protein. So as you can see for protein, we also have another um, another scale, right? So 0.75 to 1.25. So what this means is, like I said, for me, I like personally hitting um, one, uh, one pound of, um, I mean, one gram per body weight. But um, for people that are gonna be more towards this end, right, the 1.25, that's people that are gonna be leaner. That's people that are like com competing. Even someone like me, like I'm pretty lean. Like I could probably, I could probably be closer here. So a lot of times I am like um, this way. Like I, like I said, I hit like 170. And right now I'm weighing like one, 155, 160. But, um, and then people that are towards this end, the 175, are gonna be people that are, you know, maybe overweight or um, just started just started working out. Um, just people with higher body fat. Those are gonna be people that are gonna be at the lower protein end. So um, we'll put Chris at, um, I, I like him at the one. And, and um, one could be anyone below, like if you're below like, 20% body fat, like you're pretty in shape. Um, you're on 15, 20% body fat. You could kind of, you could see that you could like see abs. I'll, I'll put you at one. So we're gonna take the, the 170 times one is one is um, 170. So his protein equals we're gonna have a 170, 170 grams per day. And that's cal it's calories. Okay. So now we found the protein. Now it's time to choose the fat. So with fat, we're gonna do another thing. We're gonna name down the scale. So this one's gonna be 0.3. To point four, and then point three five in the middle, and um, with fat it all depends on kind of who you are and what kind of diet you you prefer, right? So if you're someone that loves carbs, right? You love eating uh, your rice, you love eating um, oatmeal, bread. potatoes, bread, rice cakes, stuff like that, right? You're gonna be towards the point three end, so that way you have a lower fat diet and you can have more carbs. But if you're someone that loves Nuts, peanut butter, avocados, any like the fattier stuff, because you need fat, right? Let me, let me start off with you need fat, you need dietary fat in your diet to survive, right? But um, your main source of energy is gonna come from carbs, right? So carbs is your main source. Is your main source of energy, right? This is what's gonna sustain, this is what's gonna give you like those nice like pumps in the gym, it's gonna give you the energy to do work, to work out, to go to work, to school and everything, right? But some people, you know, they also can function off fat too, but most people are gonna be the carbs. So personally, I like doing higher carbs, lower fat. And Chris also is lower lower fat, right? You like high carbs? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna put Chris at the, at the um, 0.3. So we're gonna do is 170 times 0.3. And that's going to give us 51. So we'll just say 50, just make it easy. So we'll say 50. So that's gonna give him 50 grams of fat. And also, let me um, say, protein, right? Carbs and fat. Protein you is four calories per gram, right? Same thing with um, carbs. Four. And fat is nine calories. So that's the numbers, now we're gonna find carbs, right? So we're gonna do, like I said before, we're gonna, uh, protein is four uh, calories per gram, so we're gonna do 170 times four, right? So that's gonna give us 680. All right, and then we're gonna go fat, 50 times nine, 450, right? So those are, these are, and these are calories right here. Calories. So we're gonna add these up. So we're gonna have 680 plus 450 to 1,130. Oh, that's not right. 1,130, <laughs> right? Calories. So these are the calories you're getting just from the protein and the fat. So now um, you're gonna want to look for the carbs. So like we said, 2,080 is the calories for the day. And then you're going to subtract the one, one, three, zero, and you're gonna get 950. So that's the, 950 is the calories you have left for carbs. So 950 divided by four, cause you get four calories per one gram, 238. We'll just say 240, just to keep the numbers nice and simple. So right here, these are the macros, your protein, carbs, and your fat. That's what I would start Chris off, his like base. Because we have him in a 300 calorie deficit, he wants to lose weight, and then these are the these are the numbers that he would want to hit. So, like I said, it's pretty easy. Once you got it, I mean, it might seem complicated to you, a lot of you guys, because if you don't know like how you're doing, and you've never really like done this before. But trust me, once you once you do it and get the hang of it, it's super easy to calculate. And then, so yeah, that's pretty much it. 
I hope you guys, I hope this helped out. And then we got cardio later on today. It's gonna be a rough one though, because our, my legs are shot from yesterday. We literally killed legs yesterday. So our legs are shot, but we're gonna do cardio, not hitting weights today. And um, yeah, you'll see what that looks like later Here on. Here we are. Turf's looking good. Sun's out, sun's not out. Still cloudy, still cold. But I was just telling Chris, I was like, yo, doesn't it feel good? We're literally the only ones here. We have the entire field to ourselves, entire bleachers. So it's gonna be a good one. Um, probably gonna do bleachers. Probably a couple rounds of that. And then we'll do some like body weight exercise stuff like on the turf. But yeah, you'll see what we do. Maybe some tired throws, I don't know. But just some cardio. Like I said, not hitting the waist today. Super sore from yesterday, so my legs are gonna be on fire, but it's gonna be fun. Come on, let's go. <clears throat> First thing to warm up, probably with a lap, maybe two. Stretch afterwards and then hit the bleachers. This is Chris's worst part, he hates the, he hates the run. I can't chew gum and work out at the same time. All right, just finished warming up. Uh, we ran, ran a lap or two. Uh, we just finished stretching, did some drills. Now we got bleachers. So the good thing, this is our high school, by the way. The good thing about our high school is that we actually have really nice bleachers. So because they're like pretty high, so, and they're long too. So we're gonna go up, down, up, down, oh, up, down, run to the next one, up, down, up, down, all the way down, and then run back. Here, pass this line. Just finished bleachers, we ended up doing five. These tires, right? You gonna one throw? Run to it. He's gonna throw it past the hash. Touch it. He's gonna come back. Touch here. Go back to the tire, throw it, throw it to the hash, come back. Touch the line and then go back to the tire, throw it, throw it to the sideline. Come back, touch the tire. So I know I say it a lot, right? That like, oh, this workout was hard, or this one was tough. You know, which they are usually. But this one, I'm telling you right now, the one we just finished with, crazy. Like, I'm dying, Chris is just finishing up right now. Come on, finish, all the way to the line. All the way, all the way. Good. I'm telling you right now, this one was ridiculous. Like, we only did it once, too, and I was thinking we were gonna do like, three or four times. But it took a, it took a lot longer than that. Was. And I'm probably gonna do it just one more. Chris just looked at me like, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> I'm saying, when you guys see this one, I'm gonna have to put a little disclaimer. Like, you have to sign before you try it because I'm telling you. How was it, Chris? My, my <laughs> legs are dead. Yeah. No, your legs are burning, your upper body, your shoulders are on fire. You're How breathing like you? crazy, your heart, yeah. I'm saying, this is a full body one. Oh. I feel like I have crazy cotton mouth talking too. But yeah, I'm saying, good luck if you guys try some. All right, so here's the challenge. I'm gonna have Chris demonstrate. So it's gonna start off here. 10 burpees, show me what it looks like. Just like that, yep. All the way down. If you can't go over your chest, you can stop short. Stop short one. Yep, just like that. All right, just like that. Then you're gonna bear crawl. Uh-huh. To the hash. And then you're gonna do kick throughs. And just like that. 20 of those, that's good. And then you're gonna run back. He didn't have to run back. So you're gonna run back, 10 burpees again there. Bear crawl here. And bear crawl, bear crawl, bear crawl. 20 kick throughs, boom, boom, boom. Bear crawl, bear crawl. Yep. Then you're gonna do 30 squat jumps. This is when it actually starts to really burn. All the way down, all the way up, yep. Good, run back. Then it's gonna be 10 burpees, bear crawl, 20 kick throughs, bear crawl, 30 again, bear crawl. And then you're gonna finish with uh, 40 split jumps, so 20 each leg. 
There you go. If you can't do that, you can modify it and just do lunges. Yeah, just like that. And then run back. I'm telling you, you're gonna be dead. I like you like that. Finishing strong. But yeah, so that's the cardio for the day. We did the bleachers, some tire throws. We did this long finisher. And yeah, feel good. Tomorrow we're gonna be back at the weights. Today's Thursday, tomorrow we're gonna be back at the weights. It's gonna be a pull day, I think. So yeah, I hope you guys liked the video. If you haven't, subscribe. Like the video, give it a thumbs up, comment, anything you guys want to see. It'll really help me out and I appreciate it. Take your own videos. 40, 60, 60, yeah. 40. Exactly, 40, 60, 60, 40 times, so we're calling it. And then, yeah, I hope the macros helped and I'll see you guys in the next video.